Hi mga kalaagan! Ako si Kalagan Fritz at ito ang Laagan sa Sugbo. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Laagan sa Sugbo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Sugbo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant queen na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Miss Mandawi 2023, candidate number 3, we have Miss Angeli May Garcia. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for guesting here again, Miss Angeli. Always a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> so how are you? I'm doing well. You know, the competition's coming up really mm -hmm. soon. So um, excited. A few days from now. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So, I mean, we're getting there. It's kind of a bittersweet, you know, a lot of stress. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I'm I'm really happy that I got to spend time with all these girls and grow um, personally and, you know, within pageantry also within the past few months. I see. So how was the competition so far, by the way, if I may ask? It's really good. Um, I, although I didn't live in Mandawa my entire life, mm -hmm. I really learned a lot about the city and, you know, its people. And it's been wonderful. And they've been very, very welcoming for all the girls girls that are in the competition also so that was really nice i see iba ngayon ang freshness ni angeli di ba the last time i interviewed you no iba ibang namang freshness niya all right now here at lagan sa subo i know you know this the first segment yes. the first segment is the boiling question mm -hmm. but the question again are you ready yes i am ready okay there are boiling questions in front of us i want you to pick one first and give it to me go ahead okay Mm. Your first boiling question is, what has been the biggest challenge for you and how did you overcome it? I think the biggest challenge for me would just be trusting myself mm. and um, being more independent. Living um, in Canada for most of my life now, I've been really for the lack of a better term, babied by my parents. Aww. And so coming to the Philippines by myself has really been an eye-opening experience for me and showing me what I'm really, really capable of. So I think really taking that step and that leap for me to challenge myself mm -hmm. and really immerse myself into being this independent woman, I feel more empowered. I feel like I am able to take on the world and Aww. see it in a very different lens. Um, exploring it on my own. I see. Now, I remember kutuloy yung sister ko, no? Mega shout out to sister. My sister is in Canada right now so as well. So we're reverse. Yes, reverse. <laughs> so, siya lang ngayon andun, yeah. di ba? Okay. Now, pick your next boiling question. Sure. All right. Okay. Your next boiling question is, if you need to choose one between power or authority, which would you choose to have power or to have authority and why? Hmm. Um, for me, I mean, thinking about it mm -hmm. in general, I think power and authority kind of encompasses similar yes. thing. However, I would choose power over authority because with power, I am able to take charge of a bigger scope. Mm -hmm. So authority, I, I'm thinking of it in terms of having authority over people versus Correct. having the power to change a group of people. And so I think power would definitely be more applicable to me personally. Yes, because when you say power, like you can do whatever you want. Yes. Instead of authority, like you're just um, leading a certain group of people. Exactly. You have the authority. Yes. So yes, naman, power talaga. Yeah, we have, we have the power to change the world, you know that. Absolutely. Kind of okay, pick your next boiling question. All right. Your next boiling question is, what could you do to improve the tourism industry in Mandawi City? We are given these platforms in pageantry mm -hmm. and to be able to use our voice not only to speak for other people but to amplify the voices of those living in it. And so mm -hmm. I would use my voice to amplify the voices of those who are working to make the tourism in Mandawe that much bigger. And so local businesses and mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, they really need that boost of help um, and using a platform like Miss Mandawe would really give them 
them that voice um, to market themselves to a wider range of people and to show them what Mandawe has. Not only does it have a booming industry in terms of exports and imports, <laughs> but we also have this potential to grow our tourism industry here through the locals and through local entrepreneurs. Absolutely. Because when you say Mandawe, mm -hmm. it's not unlike the other cities and mm -hmm. provinces. Now, they have resort, beaches. Exactly. When you say Mandawe, the first thing that comes in your mind is industrial. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So why not promote more on the business side mm -hmm. in Mandawe? Yeah, and right. we can do so much more. You know, there's a lot of people here with so mm -hmm. much potential to do things. And I know that if we choose Mandawe, that we can also help build Mandawe. Absolutely. Okay, pick your last but not the least boiling question sure. and I have this idea the last question would be and this is it your last but not the least boiling question is what does it mean to be a resilient woman to me a resilient woman is someone who is confident who is disciplined and who knows what power she holds. And so being a resilient woman does not only mean, you know, if, if you think of resiliency, we think of maybe COVID and how we got through that. Mm -hmm. We were able to adapt and change along with the times that we're in. But being resilient also means that you are able to continue that change, to able to sustain that. And so I think of myself as a resilient woman, and that is what a Miss Mandawa 2023 is, and I think I am ready for that. Oh, Deva, manifesting on that. <laughs> so being resilient talaga. And also, when you say resilient, kasi, it's, it's representing a Filipino. Exactly. Because kahit anong nga problema mm -hmm. na for the Filipino, Tumatawa pa rin. Yes. Smile pa rin. Exactly. And that even, you know, living abroad, mm -hmm. being a modern Filipina, I think we I feel so empowered being called a modern Filipina mm -hmm. in the especially in the diaspora because I I think of such uh, strong women who are able to bring their culture and really um, showcase it to the world in their own ways and yes. so I think being a resilient woman really comes in different forms and and that's the beauty of it correct as in talagang tatak Pinoy hashtag proud yes, Pinoy exactly okay <laughs> now before we proceed with our next segment I would like to thank first our sponsor I would like to thank Cebu Century Plaza Hotel because Cebu Century Plaza Hotel is home for king and queens and I would like to personally thank Team Flora Dermatologica for always making me fresh because I am Team Flora Touch now let's lighten up let's do it up so next experience mo na yung fast talk yes. now for you your Next segment would be Jojo in Otro Tropahin. So there are photos in my hands. Okay. Once I <laughs> let you see the photos, yeah. what do you think? If this male personalities, would you want it to be boyfriend or friend zone? Okay. Okay. If these are Filipino celebrities, I might have a tough time. <laughs> I'll just go and check <laughs> on the photos. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Ready. Okay. Jojo wa in otro tropahin. Paolo Avellino. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. From this photo. Uh, Natagalan siya. Na. <laughs> I feel like Totropahin from this photo, but I'm sure if I saw him with clothes on, maybe Jojo. Oh, so mala formal pala. Okay. So friend zone. Friend zone. Yes. Uh, Totropahin. Okay. <laughs> Jojo Wahin o Totro Pahin? James Reed. Oh. Oh. Who is that? James you know, Reed. You know, James Reed, he, he is good looking. I'm not going to lie, but I don't think he's my type, you know? Uh, high standard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, no, so high standard. Totro Pahin. Oh. Sorry, James. Okay. <laughs> Eto. Jojo Wahin o Totro Pahin? Alden Richard. Oh, yeah. Jojo. Jojo the dimples pa lang, yeah. Jojo Even though he doesn't have clothes on like uh -oh. the other guy. <laughs> I know him. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Last but not the least. <laughs> Jojo in otro pahin eto. Baby boy. Ay. Marco Gumabao. Ooh, I saw a bunch of <laughs> posts about him on Facebook and he seems like he would be a good boyfriend. So uh, he was single. 
Yes, actually, he hosted uh, Mutiara Filipinas. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you so, saw him personally. <laughs> uh, so it's Jojo in Adava. Okay, Adava. Like enjoy, cause it's Jojo I thought from fine. Okay, all right. Can you please invite our lagans and Cebu viewers where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for the upcoming Miss Mandawi 2023? For Go sure. ahead. Um, so you can follow me on Instagram at. Angeli, that's A N G E L L I underscore Garcia, G A R C I A. Um, I'm also on Facebook, Angeli Garcia. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. Once again, Makalagan, our Miss Mandawi 2023 candidate number three, we have Miss Angeli May Garcia. Thank you so much once again for guesting here at Ala Agan sa Subo. Thank you. Sana hindi ka magsawa in oh, guesting here. <laughs> I will come back a million times more ah, if I join another ko. pageant. Ah, yan yung gusto ko. <laughs> and congratulations on being part of Miss Mandawi Thank 2023, you. one of the prestigious pageant here in the Visayas. Absolutely. And good luck for your upcoming competition. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Lagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Subo. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalaagan Fritz nagsasabi, stay safe, be a responsible Kalaagan, and this is Laagan sa Subo.